Wrapped up in black silk, my stomach turns ill. My eyes burn dry as salted tears flow by. Cold lips frozen shut. A deepened cut stings through my heart with love that is marred but glances and stares too menacing to bear. My sweat doesn't perfuse from the heat. But with a madness running through my feet, why can I speak if I have a mouth? Why can I think if I have a mind to count the number of times I've been put in a line? The line I am dared to overstep, but those words I have kept as permanent as ink, blotted onto white sheets, only to be brainwashed at no cost, oppressed, unintelligent, dependent, in my defense, I have rights that I should, that I should fight, not to, I should, that I should fight in order to obtain the philosophies of the insane. Read and write, write and read, speak, speak the words dare to be unspoken. False promises are not false hopes, but opportunities. Speak, speak, the letters flow in a un unity spoken without frailty. This scarf on my head, made to constrict precious thoughts too valuable to inflict. My thoughts are my own, but how can they be truly mine? Tightly bound inside my brain to keep silent from ears ravenous to listen. Only to be, only to be thoughtful, unlimited, intelligent, independent. For my defense, call this thing a towel or a rag, but this does not keep me clean of the dirt spewed from the earth or from the blood of my brothers and sisters, no matter what book they keep on their shelf or what building they enter, before it is desecrated anyway from the people who dare not crack the other book, but crack skulls because of the difference of one word. Please, ask me the tough questions and leave with the conviction of learning something instead of asking nothing. I will tell. I will tell that I speak in prose to show that I chose not to speak in anger or in hate, but to debate in rhyme. I will speak in poetry to articulate my answers, just as the Quran was once sung in poetry to the people of Mecca, and now to you, to you, the future of this world resides in you. So this cover on my head, made to constrict my thoughts, is truly made to inflict a new thought. Not inflict, express. My words are no less than another's because I cover. <laughs>